I am Anil Kumar sharing with you tips which can help you perform better in your own test. The question here is determine the remainder R so that the following statement is true. 2x square plus 3x minus 4 times x plus 2 plus R the remainder equals to 2x cubed plus 7x square plus 2x plus 8 you need to find the value of R. As usual, you can always pause the video, solve the question and then look into my suggestions. Now one method which I have seen many times student doing is you will open this bracket, multiply them, take them to the right side, combine the like terms and then get the value of R, right? So that is correct method, but it is not the most efficient method which should be adopted. Uh, <clears throat> here's a suggestion. If you look at it, this is a division statement where the situation is kind of like this. Let's try to understand. The function which we are talking about is 2x cubed plus 7x square plus 2x plus 8 is being divided by the divisor x plus 2 what you get is a quotient which is 2x square plus 3x minus 4 and when you do all this at the end you get some remainder r so really the question is to find the value of r right does it remind you of something? Can you find R without expanding, rearranging, and you know, you'll spend at least five minutes in that, and there is high likelihood of getting a wrong answer. Okay. The easy way is actually find the value of this function for x equals to minus two, right? That should be the remainder. So what we are saying is that consider the polynomial function, let's say p of x equals two, 2x cubed plus 7x square plus 2x plus 8. Remainder r is actually equals to value this function at x equals to minus 2, right? So substitute minus 2 here. 7 times minus 2 square plus 2 times minus 2 plus 8. And then uh, use calculator. And get your answer okay so that is probably the best way so this gives you minus 8 minus 8 times 2 is minus 16 that gives you plus 28 that gives you minus 4 plus 8 right you can always use the calculator okay, let's do it <clears throat> anyway so let me add the positive terms first 28 plus 8 and then I'll take away 16 and 4 which is 20 and that gives me 16 as my answer, right? So you could actually solve such questions uh, like this rather than uh, expanding and doing all that, right? So that's my suggestion and I hope that helps you. Thanks and all the best. Feel free to post your suggestions. Thank you.